Hey what's up guys and it is official. Today is a special day because the heart that runs the beast Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 it's finally official and yes it's not called Qualcomm 875 they actually jumped a few numbers and called it Qualcomm 888. This chip will be powering all the 2021 Android flagship phones from companies like OnePlus, Xiaomi, Oppo, Vivo but most importantly Samsung Galaxy S21 series. The Galaxy S21 series in US, South Korea, China and Canada will be utilizing this brand new Qualcomm chip. As for the international market, Samsung is cooking its own Exynos 2100 which is yet to be official. Now Qualcomm has given us a few details on what they have brought new with the Snapdragon 888 and on top of that list we have a brand new 5G 5 nanometer modem. This is the first chip that is built on a 5 nanometer process and coming with the integrated 5 nanometer 5G modem which means when using 5G the battery life will be a lot more efficient compared to the previous generation. Other than that we have a 6th generation AI engine built on a new hexagon process fastest adrenal graphics ever on a Snapdragon chip. We'll see how fast they are tomorrow. 35% faster image processor compared to the Snapdragon 865. So you can take 120 pictures per second at 12 million pixels. Now, like I said, they didn't go into full details. They have left some crucial information for tomorrow. So make sure to stay tuned on the channel. Now, as we are approaching the official date of the unpacked event, we've got some new pricing leaks coming from South Korea. It seems like Samsung has finally learned their lesson. Unlike the crazy pricing of the S20 series, the S21 family could start from $800 all the way up to $1300 with the S21 Ultra, which is $100 less than the S20 Ultra. I have to say the pricing for all models in this rumor is looking pretty damn good. Of course, the cash this time is that the edge display is only specific to the Ultra models. So S21 and S21 Plus will be rocking a flat display with a possible plastic bag. Now speaking of S21 Plus, we have a brand new render video. This is based on the absolute latest CAD information showing off possibly the closest design to the actual real thing. I absolutely love how this camera bump is melting on the side. Samsung has definitely managed to create a new look, a new different look compared to the other smartphones with multiple cameras on the market. Now according to the dimension information, the S21 Plus is similar to S20 Plus but it's a bit taller. It's rocking a almost chinless 6.8 inch display probably the most minimal chin on a smartphone like from this point the only logical jump is towards an under display camera which samsung will most likely do with the z fold 3 later on next year now more information is coming out regarding the Z Fold 3. It seems like despite having the S Pen, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 will not only be lighter than the Z Fold 2, but also thinner. I don't know what magic Samsung is doing. Despite having the S Pen, they're making it slimmer and thinner compared to Z Fold 2. It's truly amazing. I've been using the Z Fold 2 for about a month now, and it's definitely noticeably thicker and heavier than a traditional smartphone. So Samsung is finally doing something about it, and uh, it's a big big move. So that's all the latest news. Qualcomm will be giving us more information on Snapdragon Triple Eight tomorrow. I'll be making a separate video on that. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe right now for daily tech videos. See you guys in the next one.